Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Aquarius. How are you guys? So I have a new deck here. I'm still not 100% connected with them. <laughs> so just bear with me on it. I'm going to practice up. I've been practicing with them before I did all my readings, but I think the only way to really connect is to actually just do real readings. Okay, so let's see where you're at. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? There we go. And here. Ooh, three of wands. Something you're waiting for. Seeds planted in the past. Maybe you met someone. Yeah, look at that. So this is a lovely energy. See? Manifest your dreams. So this deck is a little different. And I'm going to try to, you know, pick up on those energies. Because uh, I do see cards a lot different than a lot of other readers. I just kind of, they just become certain cards. So there's the Eight of Cups. So yeah, it's an energy of two people, who somebody who's waiting. So it's an energy of walking away. Somebody's walking away. Okay. But it's also an energy of a person who's searching. See? Yeah, someone's searching for something here after waiting. Yeah, there it is, two of wands, somebody thinking of walking away, just moving on. But it's a person who's still searching. This is a person at a crossroads making some kind of a choice. Okay, but you know, it's an energy of manifesting, absolutely. Seeds planted in the past, often with the three of wands, waiting for your ship to come in. Thinking about walking away, going down a different path. Somebody's on the fence here a little bit, no doubt. <laughs> Yeah, and we have the Queen of Coins. So it's an energy of someone who's kind of focused on their money, but it's also a person who's kind of looking at the bigger picture. We know the Queen of Coins is someone who kind of has that little beacon of looking into the future, planning and preparing. So some of you are kind of planning and preparing, maybe financially, taking something, because it has to do with taking something to the next level. Maybe you're waiting, okay? But if you, if you wait too long, you're thinking of moving on. Yeah, looking elsewhere, definitely. Looks like it. Yeah, seven of cups. So it's somebody planning financially, planning and preparing ahead. But it's a crossroads. It's a choice and a path. So there's two ways I feel you could be looking at this. Or it has to do with another person. So we have the seven of cups. Many possibilities. Now exploring other possibilities. Looking. So somebody looking, walking away, looking for something else, exploring all their possibilities. Hmm. Seven of coin, good things take time. So it's saying to be patient before you make any kind of decision, if it's yourself, okay? You can flip the energy. But here is the seven of coin, investing and waiting patiently for something to pay off. So this is somebody who's definitely focused on that future getting financially ready it's an energy of a heads up planning and preparing ahead looking at the possibilities somebody's about to make a choice yeah maybe somebody here's not invested you waited patiently and now you're tired of what you're tired of waiting and walking away so we have the three of swords so there's been some heartache okay definitely heartache maybe a third party where you were waiting it really is just the heartache here yeah, and I see manifesting, and I see the Hierophant. So it has to do with marriage and commitment. So this has to do with the energy of having faith in, in what you're manifesting here. Yeah, so that's how someone's conducting themselves. So it's about two people possibly just not being on the same page. But I feel there's something here that's, yeah, I mean, some of you could be like, you know, planning maybe to get a new job here, maybe negotiating even a contract while you're kind of waiting. But I feel some of you feel the ship has sailed. You're walking away, making, making a life path choice, preparing and planning. Some of you could be fantasizing about being married to a particular person here too. I got to be honest, because it's an energy of searching. See, it's energy of searching for something and waiting. Feeling maybe like it's too late. Maybe you're, you know, it may not even be another person. It could be just your energy. But the Seven of Cups is often an energy of someone who procrastinates, somebody who's making a choice. So it's saying to be patient. See, it has to do with waiting for something to pay off. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Yeah, see, manifesting. See, I feel like you're trying to manifest something or someone's trying to manifest you. It's a person who has all the tools, the information, they have everything they need. See, this is two people connecting. I feel like it's two people searching for the same thing. 
it has to do with taking it to the next level. I feel like you've been waiting. If you're, if this person doesn't, I feel like you may make a choice. There's some kind of choice here, whether it's a person or just your path. So it's taking a little pause, see? Um, sitting on the fence, taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently. So I, you could be, sometimes the queen of coins likes to look in the future and fantasize about being with somebody. Okay, so think about that. The other person may not be on the same page or, or at the same level as you, okay, where they're not quite ready. But I feel this energy of the manifesting, it's here twice, confirming, waiting for something that you're wanting, manifesting a soulmate, a connection. So there it is, yeah, thinking of marriage, fantasizing a little bit about marriage. Already, somebody's already kind of planning and preparing, you see. But if some, I feel this other person's not quite at your level. They're not quite there yet. So that's why I feel the waiting. Yeah, well, your patience could pay off here. Yeah, dating and courting, see, doing things right, whether someone's right for you. It has to do with commitment, see, investing in commitment. This so is someone who's still exploring their feelings where we've got the queen of coins already planning the marriage, living together, fantasizing about it, maybe even thinking of other possibilities if somebody makes you wait too long. This is a person still exploring their feelings. See, it's about looking at things from their perspective. You know, we got, there's been some heartache here, so I do see some heartache. So this is somebody maybe having a fear that you're going to walk away. So we have the king, we have the power couple here. We have a power couple. We have two people. Same energy. You're mirroring each other a little, both feeling the same way. But there it is, manifesting commitment. It has to do with two people having faith. It's, I feel we've got two people who aren't on the same page. There's a need for some kind of communication, sharing your feelings, emotional intimacy. Somebody is not quite at the same level. They're not quite ready. They're still trying to figure out how they feel, but they're feeling something because they're at the Knight of Cups, dating and courting, doing things in a traditional manner. See, it's a person who's planning ahead. They're manifesting. It's their habit, their lifestyle, their traditions, the way they conduct themselves. So this is someone I feel ha either has a fear that you're going to walk away or it's vice versa. King and Queen of Pentacles energy, the power couple. Let's have a look at this magician. Yeah, they have all the tools. They have everything they need. This is someone who actually has everything they need. They're looking at that. You know, they're thinking about commitment. It has to do with faith. See, but I feel there's definitely a physical attraction. So it has to do with love, taking it to the next level. See, they're manifesting here. Yeah. I, I feel this is somebody who's definitely, I, I'm going to tell you, they're leaning towards this commitment, but it's about having faith. It has to do with lifestyle, two people connecting. This is a bond, some kind of a bond. So they're trying to manifest love, definitely. They're looking at what they are manifesting. <laughs> oh, they know, yeah. So we have the Empress, a little Taurus energy there with the Empress. But I feel it has to do with being open. So some of you may be just keeping your options open. You're only going to wait so long. Yeah, but I feel they're, it's looking at it from their perspective. I feel they're just not at the same level. This is somebody who, you know, takes a little longer to fall in love, to figure out how they feel. They're looking at this love, this bond, this connection, this attraction. They've manifested it. They have money. They have everything they need. They may see you that way. See, this is what you're wanting. See, the Empress, you're, this is how you're conducting yourself. You're open, but keeping your options open. You're only going to wait so long. See, it's an energy of coming in right and committing, waiting patiently for someone to commit. I, I actually feel like you're just right for each other in a lot of ways. They're just not quite at the same level, you see? <laughs> They're still in, in dating frame of mind, doing things in a traditional manner, you see? Yeah. Let's have another look at the magician up here. You're mirroring each other. You're manifesting. There's a connection. There's definitely a connection. You've drank from each other's cup, but it has to do with seeing things from each other's perspective, where this is going. See, this is definitely someone who's emotionally mature, manifesting love. But like I say, you know, they... 
there's definitely a lot of feel. This is someone trying to figure out how they feel, what they want, if you're right, if this is what makes them happy, all these things. But it has to do with marriage and commitment. We already have the Queen of Pentacles, which often does that, already visualizes living with someone, already planning and preparing while this person's not quite there. They will be, you see, because they're manifesting. They want love. They definitely want love. They want that beautiful, strong bond. So... I feel like you're both just searching for the same thing. They're just somebody who takes a little longer to figure out how they feel. I feel they will. <laughs> yeah. It's just saying to be patient. They, you have to let them do things their way. Justice and balance and being fair. You see, maybe you feel like they're not being fair. Okay. So the Empress is generally balanced. So I feel like you're open to this. But I, some of you, like I say, maybe you feel this person has other options. Maybe they're dating other people. Okay, maybe there's been some heartache, but I feel this person has this, um, they're a little bit afraid that you're going to walk away if they don't commit. So it's both of you kind of think of the same thing, but there it is. There's the Queen of Cups, seeing things from a different perspective. See, we have a couple drinking from each other's cup. There you are. You're manifesting each other. You both want love. Um, maybe it's friends first. It's possible. Could be a friendship going to the next level <laughs> it certainly could be let's have a look at the four of wands this is a reason to celebrate it's a party it's a, a strong financial foundation it's marriage this is definitely marriage material absolutely okay but they are still exploring their feelings they're still in dating mode they haven't put a lot of thought into it well now they are because they're afraid you're going to walk away that you may choose another person so they're looking at this they definitely have everything they need they have money everything they need but love so i feel this is where they start to think of, i feel they there there's love here absolutely yeah see putting all the cups on the table see being emotional can they make you happy is this what makes them happy but it's both people telling the other person what makes them happy what fulfills you emotionally so it's about sharing okay being kind and compassionate to each other seeing things from each other's perspective okay so it has to do with the level i feel this person will level up but i do feel there's there's going to be a need to be patient to be fair they're not quite there doesn't mean they won't be because i feel like you don't want to waste your time you may be actually even thinking of exploring other options or maybe you feel they are Maybe they are. I don't know. I'm not really seeing that. I just see them not at the same level emotionally. They're still in dating mode. And if it's somebody you haven't dated, well, this is what they're thinking. <laughs> they're looking for love. There's no doubt. They are emotionally mature. They are available. So it's about putting themselves out there, wearing their heart on their sleeve. But it's about what makes you both happy, manifesting each other. You see, there's definitely a beautiful, this person's definitely, you know, they want that strong bond. You know, they want that connection. Very, lots of physical attraction, no doubt. <laughs> Let's have a look at the four of wands. Yeah, see, celebration, see, good news, a celebration, friends and family. No, this level could be introducing to friends and family, moving in together, they're still in dating mode. Yeah, so it's possible too, you're looking, you know, to explore other options yourself. Maybe that's how you feel. I feel like you're open. I feel like you're just keeping your options open, Aquarius. But I th you're open to love. I think this person's going to offer you this cup. <laughs> They're going to offer up their feelings. They're going to wear their heart on their sleeve here. Yeah, see, it has to do with taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. You see, this is someone who's likely taken a risk before, uh, leapt into a relationship. Um, but I feel there's just very positive news. See, very positive news. You're already visiting yourself. Maybe it just is introduced into friends and family. The levels are going to be different for each of you. But, you know, this is someone who's definitely looking, planning and preparing financially. But, you know, there's definitely been some heartache. I, it could be they have a little bit of fear of commitment because they've taken a risk before. Okay. Yeah. Vice versa. But the Empress is open. 
There it is. Someone trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. See, it's an inner wisdom, being wise. So someone who already knows. Okay. Maybe you already know this person's about to take a leap of faith. Maybe you know this. Maybe you know they have a little fear of commitment. Or I feel it's a fear of opening up emotionally more than anything. They're going to do it, though, because I feel they, they don't want you to walk away. And if you have walked away, they're definitely going to be coming in here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoops. Let's drop the whole deck on the floor. Let's have a look at the fool. Yeah, see the chariot. See, this is someone who's determined uh, to have success. They're trying to control their emotions. See, it's an energy of controlling the emotions. Not This is the Empress trying not to let your emotions overpower you. Trying to ground, saying to ground yourself, to be patient. Okay. I feel this person wants to go about things the right way. Um, I feel they're quite traditional. Okay, Or maybe it's something you want, but... You know, because we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. We, we have the King and Queen of Cups. We have uh, some Pisces energy, someone trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. They are, this is someone who already knows you're the right person. They actually have the tools. They already have the information. They already know. <laughs> you might already know, too. Maybe they're planning and preparing something. Maybe it's yourself, but I'm telling you, this is really positive. Yeah, see? How someone conducts themselves, having faith, commitment, being patient. But it's about investing, hoping this pays off. So they're hoping this pays off. So I feel they're going to let you have it your way because they don't want you to walk away. And if you have walked away, they're definitely coming in to take control. They're not going to let anybody else get you, I'll tell you that. No, no, no. Yeah, so it's about lifestyle habits, the way you conduct yourselves. Okay, But it's about having faith. Yeah, there it is. See, slow and steady wins the race. They're kind of dragging their feet, but they are less apprehensive. There's a little apprehension, you see, but they're looking at the details. See, this is somebody who kind of likes to take things slow. So maybe you just want to be friends first. You got to watch that friends first uh, energy because sometimes when you tell someone, let's just be friends first, they feel like they're being friend zoned. Okay. So just watch. I've seen this in another reading and it just popped into my head. So just so you know, watch, choose your words wisely. Uh, when you say you just want to be friends first, make it very clear. Okay. Uh, maybe what, what it is you really want here. I feel like you're open to pretty much anything as long as it's something that makes you happy. It's an energy of seeing the bigger picture. I feel this person feels they may not be able to. Okay. I do feel they're focused a lot on money. They want to be financially stable, but they're coming in. They're going to offer you. They're going to, you're going to get what you want. They're just going to give you what you want. So there it is. See, there's the new expressing themselves, everything becoming clear. So it has to do with this person being confident in what they're manifesting. Okay. So there's a need for clear communication, clearing things up. Everything's going to be exposed and illuminated. Some of you may be, like I say, you may be thinking of starting something new, though. So like it says, you know, take some time to think, okay? See, a kind of a neutral energy here. But it's about lifestyle, habits, traditions, uh, faith, see? It's an energy of faith. Maybe somebody wasn't faithful, Okay, but I feel like it has to do with faith in the path, whether you're just the right person. Not really seeing somebody seeing other people. I'm seeing a family, friends and family celebrating positive news. This is someone who's already fantasizing about engagement and marriage. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see it. Let's have a look at the Empress. Yeah, see? charge full steam ahead so somebody has a little gemini libra aquarius energy this could be yourself aquarius so it's about how you conduct yourself you may be in a rush this is something worth fighting for they don't want you to get away okay they don't i don't think you want this person to get away either you know, when push comes to shove here like i feel it's an energy of somebody kind of putting on the brakes here a little bit looking at this Okay, maybe it's just about introducing to friends and family. They're already thinking marriage and engagement. Somebody, the Queen of Coins is thinking marriage and engagement. It's definitely connected to the Empress. And then here's the Knight of Swords, charge. 
See, it's about thinking things through, not rushing in and then having to back out. So you know, I feel like it's both people got a little thinking to do here. Yeah, I feel as if someone's just kind of moving a little slow. I wouldn't say they're dragging their feet. I just feel they're at a different level. Okay. They're definitely, you know, there's love. I mean, maybe you have another person coming in. It's possible you may have someone who's moving too slow. You may be manifesting other options. Maybe you're starting something new. But it's telling you not to be so hasty, not to rush into anything, okay? Think things through careful. And the Empress generally does. But it's Empress is always open to other options because I feel like you're maybe waiting. You know, someone keeping you waiting, and it could be just for them to express their feelings, but maybe this person, someone who feels like it's too late, maybe you've already started something for some of you, especially if there has already been one of you walking away. But I feel like we got two people actually searching for the person who's right in front of them. <laughs> it happens. People get tired of waiting. They want to be married. They want to be committed. They want to have a family. They want a reason to celebrate. It's very positive thinking. Um, but yeah. The other person's not quite on the same page yet. They're not quite there. They're kind of like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there it is. It's an energy of change, positive, a lot of abundance, but it's an energy of someone coming back around, possibly. But it's an energy of somebody just changing how they see, change of perspective, you see. That's why I feel they don't want you to walk away, or if you have, they're going to come after you. Uh, most definitely there it is releasing things that no longer serve you know your worth and value okay so this has to do with uh, self-respect has to do with faith getting something you want i feel if you're patient you'll get what you want because they see you as the queen of pentacles marriage material someone like themselves like they have this um, king of pentacles energy but we have the king and queen of cups two people right there what you're looking for is right there. Now, if somebody walked away, that could be what they're looking at here. You know? Yeah. Kind of real. The realization, maybe, what I wanted was right there all the time, possibly. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Yeah, they're thinking about the Queen of Pentacles, marriage material. There you go. This is how they feel about you. Yeah, Grounded, practical, sensible. So... Yeah, but it's an energy of someone who's focused on their money. Someone they can be comfortable talking to. That's another thing. It's about being able to be comfortable talking to each other. So maybe there's something there. Okay, don't be too hasty. <laughs> Aquarius. I'm feeling strong Libra energy. So somebody has Libra in their chart, but it could be just because of the Empress. Uh, strong Hierophant Taurus energy. Maybe both of you have that energy, or it's just the energy you're in, that uh, energy of tradition, morals and values, see, being on the same page. I feel it's just they're just in dating mode. <laughs> Moving kind of slow, feeling a little apprehensive, you know. Now, if you are acting a little aloof, maybe starting to act like you're a little disinterested, putting on the brakes, because you know your worth and value. But this person sees you as everything they could want. I'm telling you. They see you as their hopes and dreams. And that's why I feel. It's just that realization that the person they want's right there. That you've drank from each other's cup. And now if this is just a friendship. And that you're you're wanting to take this to the another, other level. Okay. You may have to go through a, a dating period. Maybe that's what you want or they want. The dating. Tradition. Dating, then getting engaged. But it's like someone here is full steam ahead. They're already looking at uh, way into the future. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cute. I mean, it's the Queen of Pentacles. It's when you know that there's something you really want here, right? So, yeah. I, I feel like this person's just, it, it's just, I, it's not timing so much. It's just you know, the way they may be going about things. But I'm not seeing third party. Now, if there was a third party and they dated somebody else, maybe it's because you're waiting for them to share their feelings. Maybe it's yourself. I kind of feel like it could be you just keeping your options open, thinking of maybe exploring other options while you're waiting. But 
Yeah, it could be either one of you or maybe both of you, but there it is. So there's things speeding up. See, it's an energy of somebody feeling they need to be in a hurry. It may be too late. This is someone who does not want you to get away, I'm telling you. Yeah, or you're not going to let them get away. <laughs> Charge. It's something worth fighting for, right? It's worth going after. It's like, go get it. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I wish you the best here, but I feel whatever needs to be released. It could be just some kind of habit tradition or just letting go of this, letting go of control. Try not to rush into anything because I feel one of you is in more of a hurry than the other person. You may be thinking of exploring other options or possibilities, you know, but I'm not so sure third party is for most of you. I feel it more has to do with this person has a little bit of fear of commitment. So they're kind of apprehensive here, you know. But the biggest fear is that you are going to walk away or it's too late if they're coming back to get you because they certainly don't want you to get away. I'll tell you that. I mean, maybe you're the one that got away. I don't know. But we have somebody here who's very, very emotional. They're looking at that Queen of Pentacles as, as a partner, as a wife. You see, someone they can be comfortable talking to, sharing their feelings, because it's an energy of the Queen of Pentacles is connected to the Empress being very gracious and very kind. Somebody who makes a comfortable home, makes their family comfortable, you know, all these lovely things. So there's something to do with that comfort. And it's not just the creature comforts at home. It has to do with that emotional comfort. So, yeah, I feel it's just telling you to be a little bit patient here and to not give up. So I wish you the very best here. Take care, Aquarius. <laughs> there you are, letting go, see, releasing things, ready for change. Yeah, see, old habits, traditions, you see. Maybe it's a habit you do where you just kind of look ahead, plan and prepare, being prepared. You know, it could be you're just preparing for anything here. So, but you got love coming in. I wish you the best. Take care and we'll see you soon.